Since the end of URC 2022, the Mars Rover design team at Missouri s and has been hard at work researching and refining both our novel and legacy systems, so that through a combination of computer-aided design, finite element analysis, bench tests, and task simulations, we will be able to meet all competition requirements. The Mars Rover design team is proud to present our 11th rover, Helios. Helios features a signals overhaul this year. A managed network switch runs 900 MHz, 2.4 and 5.8 GHz bands simultaneously. A Jetson Xavier streams up to 8 parallel camera feeds over UDP, while GPS is improved through a differential positioning system. A custom 8S 8P lithium ion battery with current sensing and active filtering capabilities powers a 14 PCB distributed architecture. To interact with the rover, MRDT has written a custom GUI application in which operators are able to see and easily switch between camera views, monitor the rover's location on a map, position the rotating signal stack, and view diagnostic data sent from the rover. These systems provide operators with an insight into the rover's state, while an attachments manager displays results from the science hardware and allows precise control of the arm. Helios features key modifications to our legacy Mantis suspension, greatly reducing weight, design, and manufacturing complexity while maintaining similar performance. Featuring a structural composite frame, carbon Kevlar wheels, and a modular auxiliary mounting system, our rover is capable of withstanding a 1 meter vertical drop and full speed collision. Helios can reliably produce a max torque of 13.2 Newton meters, a max speed of 6 meters per second, and traverse a max incline of 45 degrees. Paired with a 6 axis robotic arm, our rover has the ability to locate, pull, lift, and carry a large range of tools and objects while traversing sandy, rocky, and uneven terrain. Our camera and gimbal system allows Base Station to view the state of all systems during the missions while providing greater viewing angles during operation. Helios's new 6-axis robotic arm gives it the fine control, strength, and range of motion required to successfully complete the equipment servicing task. An inverse kinematic PID control scheme actuating through custom H-Ridge motor controllers and brushed DC motors enables fine control of each joint. A new combined end effector design is both simpler and lighter, while maintaining the ability to lift a 5 kg weight, open drawers and cabinets, tighten a hex bolt, type on a keyboard, operate a joystick, and insert a USB stick. Cameras on the forearm and gripper provide optical feedback and depth perception inside the base station, while a camera on the back of the rover provides an alternate viewing angle of the arm's relative position. For the autonomy mission, Helios utilizes a differential GPS for precise point-to-point -point navigation. During navigation, the rover utilizes our new Triclops camera layout to stitch together images from a Z2i stereo camera and two 180-degree side cameras to create a larger field of view. Two asynchronous computer vision algorithms allow the rover to autonomously navigate to its goal. The first algorithm detects AR tags using OpenCV's Aruka library. The second allows us to avoid obstacles seen in the Z3D point cloud using a custom trained yellow model and an A-star pathfinder. Upon successfully reaching a GPS waypoint, our rover will enter into a search pattern state and spiral outward until the AR tags are found. The rover will then enter a new navigation routine to either approach a single marker or maneuver through a gate. Completion of the task will then be indicated using the LED panel on the back of the rover. Utilizing old rovers and the WeBots robot simulator, each new feature goes through a rigorous amount of bench and field tests before a final review and ultimate push to dev. Our redesigned science gantry system now utilizes carbon composite tubes to reduce the weight by 33% while improving rigidity. To analyze soil samples, we lower our updated instrument array into each sample site. Housed in an electroplated casing, our new custom forometer uses six UV LEDs and an optic system to induce fluorescence for the detection of life. Receiving between 330 and 600 nanometers, amino acids and carbohydrates can be detected. It is paired with a microscope capable of 400 times magnification, allowing us to see sediment grains within the soil sample. Finally, gas sensors allow us to measure the carbon and nitrogen biological cycles in action. Helios is also able to run a series of chemical tests along with its instruments. Using a multiplexing water distribution system driven by a peristaltic pump, our latest chemical suite utilizes the ninhydrin and Benedict's test to look for amino acids and reducing sugars in our soil samples. After analysis is complete, a soil cache box allows us to collect up to 10 grams of material with the highest scientific value for future analysis. The creation of an R&D division has enabled our team to explore more ambitious ideas and processes while maintaining our ability to address issues identified during previous URC missions. We have placed a heavy emphasis on structural composite components, spectroscopy methods, electroplating techniques, and brushless manipulators to incorporate into future designs. Thank you for your consideration. The Mars Rover Design Team looks forward to competing at the University Rover Challenge this June.